Akaba means welcome. You're welcome once again to What's New Today. My name is Eddie. And I'm Darby. So today we're looking at an article, a very interesting article. It talks about Denmark when you are on married and you are in age, Denmark. At the age of 25. 25. What happens? Huh? In Ghana, what happens? If you're 25, you're probably in school. Yeah, 20, no, no, probably no, no, just no, finish school. You, no, 25, you must be working. You must but be working. You finish work like 22. What time? You finish what, what, school what, like 22. What time do you finish SHS? I think it should be like Averagely, 17, 18. Averagely 18. A lot of yeah, schools 18. do not allow, according to the school regulations, you have to be at least 18 years before you step on campus. Yeah, Lots so of 18. So, so by 18. age of 22, four years three. in so let's school, say three. one year national yeah. service, mm. in Ghana economy, two years searching for job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Some some people spend like three, four years searching for jobs. So that okay. is true though. Averagely 25, you've been your first job, hopefully your first employment. Yeah. For those who, who who have finished mm. their university education. Yeah, that is well, true. those who search into So basically, 25 years, you, mm. you, you still not settled for marriage. It's not settled. Average anyway. in Ghana. Anyway. But it's what like, when you go to Denmark, it is something, it's a tradition that when you are 25 and you are not married, you get cinnamons thrown at you I mean, in cinnamon like, yeah, powder. they will bathe you in cinnamon and that is a tradition it's a long-standing tradition that they've been doing for a long time so you know this at says um when you turn 25 if you're unmarried it is necessary in denmark for your friends and family to cover you in spice it doesn't end right there water is also spliced from head to toe for the cinnamon to stick even more and better yeah, yeah. wow Wow, that is interesting it's, tradition. It's very, very interesting, actually. So, <clears throat> so they say a Danish man uh-huh. s- said that the tradition may date back hundreds of years to when spy salesmen would travel around and remain single because they were never in one place enough to settle down with someone. So they are trying to say the whole train of cinnamon mm. began because mm. in the early years, that's mm. thousands of years ago. They had spice men, men who sold spice. And yeah. you know, typically, without being stereotypical, white people, their spice is basically mm. pepper, salt, and maybe cinnamon. Mm. So it's very possible that what those spice men sold was pepper, salt, and cinnamon. And then because these people were moving from house to house, place to place, they couldn't settle down. The mm. only thing they had in their possessions was the spices. Mm. And then many of the salesmen would never find their partner and be referred to as Peps vid, peps pepe vid, which mm. means pepe dudes. Pepe dudes. Yeah, <laughs> and the single woman we know as pe, pepe pepe mo or pepe maiden. So anyway, it's 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 like if you are above twenty five and you are male, you, and you are not, Yeah, and you are not married, you are called pepe dude, and you are female, you are called pepe maiden. Pepe no, pepe is that is that where the pepe dem comes <laughs> yeah, from yeah, or I something? Know. I don't know. <sighs> That is interesting. But see an interesting point here. They're saying, however, mm-hmm. the level of torture increases on your 30th birthday where the cinnamon shifts towards pepper. Hey! Wow. Wow. Imagine mm-hmm. pepper part of pepper being thrown out too. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but, wow. but, but, but this I think, I think we should try it here. <laughs> we too. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be sent to court. <laughs> By the way, this is their tradition. Yeah, their tradition. <clears throat> it, it's a long-standing tradition. And you know, I think it's as you said, it has to do with because they were not getting married when they clock certain ages. But then the funny thing is, um, it also continues to say that um, the um, how do you call it? Uh, uh, um, and this is a dude, says, this a dude being yeah, it says, if they are feeling super dude, super rude, su- super sorry, super rude, they sometimes add X Ew. to the mix because it helps with adhesion to stick. Yeah, <laughs> so imagine <laughs> being thrown with X. And cinnamon, you'll be covered. Imagine oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you probably smell. Oh, see the poor lady, she's tied to the pole. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And they're pouring cinnamon on yeah. her. Is dude, it a guy? Why, why is a guy? It dude? Oh my god, yeah, it's a guy. Oh wow. my god, but look here, but they should let her make her, 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 her colleague females do that. Ah, uh, but then, I mean, that is, I mean, it says friends and family, they could be family. Oh, but happy you know the, brothers. So. You know the interesting thing about uh, um, what I find so fascinating. Mm-hmm. You know, in that it says no matter how cruel the action suggests, nobody is being judged for still being single at 25. The average age of men getting married in Denmark is 34 years old, while for women it's 32 years old. Yes, that is interesting. The, this and this, this is the 
<laughs> it's important for us to know that mm-hmm. despite the fact that this tradition is is upheld mm. it if if you read in other articles they say that saturdays and sundays especially mm. it's very common to see spots of cinnamon along the street yeah, especially in areas where young people are predominantly yeah. you know staying yeah. but at the same time <clears throat> it's also important to know that denmark legalized homosexuality far back in 1989 in fact they mm-hmm. were the first country to legalize homosexuality that's the mm-hmm. same so could it sex. be could it be that people were not the men were not marrying the women so they thought probably <laughs> i'm not they saying legalized I'm not it saying. so that if you find your fellow man attractive then so I mean, that's you by the time you're 25 you're probably yeah, then you are already <laughs> i'm not saying i'm not saying but yes it's an interesting fact that mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. you know far back and as and, 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 and it goes on to say that rather than a punishment um the tradition brings out the fun yet funny element to be played out on your friends and family when they reach their danger ages respectively so it, it's i think it's it's not um something done to um, shame or something like yes, that but it's yes, kind it's, of a, a fun something fun. to fun. probably remind you that you are growing or i mean that kind of thing looking at the african setting um to be fair women when they reach that age there's this cultural pressure to suggest that you are getting old get yeah, married get married get married and it it leads a lot of people into depression mm-hmm. i think these people have found a fun way to say okay you are there we support you you should get married but if you are not married yet you know we are with you and maybe that's why the deans are one of the world's happiest people because they've according to UN ranking they've had happiest people on earth for a while back mm-hmm. to back mm-hmm. to back in 2010 2011 mm-hmm. 2019 2011 something like that so mm-hmm. yeah i think some of these traditions of running around throwing spices on that's true on, that's true. on adults but, yeah, but you know um what I also find interesting is how in our part of the world, you know, people are being pressured, as you said, when they get to the age of, let's say, 25 and they are moving upwards, they are pressured into marriages and, I mean, people start, I mean, referring them that, hey, you are growing and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it, it's more or less like we, we, we are tied to some form of, if you are around certain age um, and you're not married you're not married you're not fulfilled you i mean you are still lacking lacking. and you are not there you are not irresponsible exactly you can add more (laughs) 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 and 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 it's it's interesting how everywhere and how they treat these things uh i mean i'm surprised i mean this is my first time learning about this um, denmark tradition yeah yes we should try it here danish tradition uh, the pepper parts. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. you're, you're pepper above 30. So you 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 are pepper dude. Oh, if you also a pepper dude. <laughs> <laughs> we get some bags of pepper. <laughs> bags of pepper. So if you're and out there and you. you are 25 and yeah. above and you're a lady, you are pepper made in. Henceforth. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Anyway. It's, it's, so, it's an interesting practice the, yeah, the kind yeah, of things yeah, yeah, people yeah, yeah. do all over the world yeah, I, I think, think it's it, 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 it's fun it's fun you can see from the pictures it's like ah it's more fun they are laughing and you know but and, dudes boys yeah. are always going to do this boys <laughs> you know dudes dudes are fun of the day i think i need to visit denmark so i could, <laughs> I could pepper someone <laughs> okay so wow wow, wow. Okay, thanks so for being with us this yeah, was yeah, new yeah. today we'll be bringing more interesting articles more interesting stories around the world mm-hmm. stick to us subscribe yeah. like and do what you have to say yeah so um that'll be all for today thank you for watching our video hope to see you again bye